that's different about them this year versus past years? Um, you know, Coach Schwartz being the coordinator, you're going to have a lot more consistency. I think personnel changes subtly. You know, you still see the big names like Malcolm Jenkins and Fletcher Cox and Brandon Grant who have been there for a long, long time. Um, so they kind of, I think, provide a lot of consistency. Uh, obviously, Anderson Deho playing there. Players like that are newer, but they're playing within the scheme. So, um, you know, it shouldn't be too different. I think when you have injuries, you have personnel changes. Um, you know, Craig James has played a lot for them. He was here with us a few lockers down for me for much of the past year. So. Um, when you have those changes, then you may start to change your scheme a little bit to put players in a position to be successful um, and help them do what they're familiar with. But all in all, I think uh, what Coach Schwartz has done really well and has been one of them a Super Bowl, you know, not a whole lot of reason to change the script at this point. I think they're number one in the NFL against the run. Um, so it'll be a great challenge for us. Kirk, tell us about getting a call from the president. I mean, did that just out of the blue after the game and said, hey, the president's on the phone, or how did that all transpire? Yeah, my, my agent just texted me and said, hey, um, call this number. The White House reached out to me and just wanted you to call this number. I said, are you serious? You know, question mark. I think it was a joke. You know, I was going to call some prank number. And he said, no, very. And so I just called him on the bus heading to the airport. And uh, didn't know, I didn't know what I was going to call the White House. And they just said, hold for the president. And then uh, it was just a you know 30-second call just saying congratulations. And, that was it. So very out of the blue, very random. But uh, uh, you know, when the president calls, I don't care who it is. Uh, you know, left, right, whatever, down the middle. And if he says call me, I'm, I'm going to give him a call. And see what he needs. <laughs> see what what was the gist of the conversation? That just, just congrats. Right. Is is it kind of odd that he's calling you and then he has a rally this week here or anything like that? Do you tie, I, I don't do know. you tie him all together or anything like that? No, I don't. Did you get invited? Uh, no, it, it, we didn't. It, it, it didn't go there. You said in your radio show this week that you play better, maybe with an edge. You said that you like that comment that uh, came out again. How do you, why do you think you play better when you're maybe a little bit ticked off or have that edge to you, and how do you maintain that? I don't know the answer. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, sometimes when I get frustrated and ticked off, um, you know, there's a little more fire there. And uh, it can also get you in trouble if you're not careful. But uh, I think. You know, within reason, it can help you. And what was particularly what what brought out that edge Sunday? You know, I, I don't need to get into it. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's uh, you play this position, things happen inside the building, outside the building that um, you know motivate you and find motivation anywhere you can really.